come here, come here, come here. Let me see your butt. Premium content. You are not a premium subscriber. Please pause now and purchase a premium membership immediately. Are you saying? Do it. Do it. Do it. Go to the hood. I must say it's not over. Get delicious. I will. He's gonna become get delicious. <laughs> That's in in the hood. From, our, from our new movie Yoda in the Hood. I thought you said it was Yoda de la Ghetto. Oh yeah, Yoda de la Ghetto. <laughs> Yoda Why'd you hit ghetto? It's a French Why'd you film. Say ghetto. It's because a French it's, film. Yeah. Oh, Yoda, Yoda de, de la, de la ghetto. ghetto. I am. <laughs> Je suis. Mm-hmm. What kind of pants you have on Yoda de la Ghetto? Jenko. <laughs> Janko shorts? That'd be cool. Pants on me. Pants on me they are. <laughs> pants on me they are. Yeah, Janko pa- shorts? Me, me pants on they. <laughs> pants. Pants. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then what I said was... My big black ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. I didn't say my big black ass. <laughs> yeah, you did. When did I say you never, that? You never said that. I don't even he do the Yoda that. voice. You just I, said you that. You do the Yoda voice. You were the yes. one. <laughs> Yoda. Yoda's in here. Yoda. It's and, not me saying You didn't anything. say my big black yes, ass. I've been here. <laughs> it's Yoda's in the room. Yoda, how'd you fit your big black ass in this room? A space car. <laughs> space what does that space mean? Royce. <laughs> Space Royce? Yeah. Is that a nice car? Does it go to... Uh, it's it, like a Rolls Royce. So space. If, it, if it's a Rolls Royce, but it's space, does it even have the stars on the top, or is it something else? Yes. No, oh, it does have the stars. Yes. It doesn't have, like, grass on the top. I feel like that would make sense. Because when you're in space... Sense, that yeah. does not. I think it makes perfect sense. Does it have, no like, we- sense. Is it wheels, or, or, like, jet boosters, or how is it? I, does force. It go- force. It's force. Rolls Force. Oh, well, that's you said better. it was a space that's better, Royce. That's better that is. <laughs> well, that's a different car. That's way way better that is. <laughs> I love being. I thought you might. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> this is doing Yoda yeah. voice. Yeah, yeah. I miss Yoda. Oh, uh, dude. You know what's great about that? What? It's Grover too. <laughs> I can be Grover in the hood. But Grover doesn't... Same he doesn't, voice. He doesn't, Grover Oz. would end up in the hood. Yeah. He'd probably shoot his cannon too yeah. far. <laughs> He'd bring his cannon to the hood. Yeah, Super Grover. Yeah. Well, it would be Super Grover, He's Super first Grover, of all. Yeah. Yeah. He would be in there. And he'd and end they up would in the help hood. him out because it's there, good there. There's a monster at the end of this hood. <laughs> Yeah, dude, Yoda in the hood is very two thousand. Like that's a. Uh, I mean, if we were on Newgrounds in two thousand three, there has to have been a Sesame Street in the hood. Yes. Yeah, you remember on. Elmo's got a gun? That wasn't in the hood though. Elmo, yeah, it that was. was like, no, that was like a, we need to talk about Kevin style thing. No, no, Elmo's got a gun because the the end of the song is like the. the I mean, it's like Weird Al didn't do it's hood not, humor. It's it's not Weird Al. It's wrongly attributed to Weird yeah, Al. Yeah, you it think was that a was radio Weird DJ. Al? Everything's weird. It was all Weird. That's Al. true. On LimeWire, no. it was the Weird. The Werner von Braun song. IPod, it was that was Weird, weird Al. AI. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's Wait, a, so it's what? An AI that generates parody <laughs> yeah. songs. So it was what, what? It was what, a radio uh, host. A radio host did that, and then at the end of the song, he does like black voice and is like, "You want me to walk through Sesame Street without a bulletproof vest? Forget about it." Whoa. Yeah, dude, I remember all the words to that. <laughs> yeah, a Weird Al wouldn't have done that. I listened that. to that probably when I was like nine years old. I heard that more than the Beatles. I think the hood was a frontier that Weird Al would never. Oh no, yeah, he never pushed. Yeah, he's yeah. a respectable. Maybe man. maybe that you see they're making a movie about a biopic of of Weird Al with yeah. uh really? he said Daniel the, Radcliffe the, playing Weird Al. The and I think Radcliffe they might touch on the the hood years. Mm-hmm. Really, where he and says the, that he'll never do he'll never do hood stuff until white and nerdy. Because mm. he doesn't want to disrespect that community, and then white and nerdy comes along, and, and he gets he gets kind of tempted by the money. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and so he finally goes into the hood and does ghetto yeah. stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. We basically, I think, we just in the last five minutes did our entire hood era, mm-hmm. and I think yeah. our, I think our hood and I think ghetto it's good era that we might stop. be over. I yeah, think I think, we're we, done had, with I think the hood. we had five minutes. <laughs> I think it's good for like yeah, at least five minutes, and then you kind of tread into dangerous waters. There, yeah. and you sound like an asshole. You think the hood yeah. is dangerous waters? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, there's no waters in the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See what I mean? Look, we hit six minutes. No, we're at four minutes and thirty seconds. Well, was, we were doing it two that minutes fell before. Within, <laughs> that fell within the purview of hood time. <laughs> we're still. I don't. I don't want to see five hundred one. I don't want to see yeah. where Pat takes it at five hundred one. Yeah. Well, we're get, we got fifteen seconds left, Pat. 
I want a bowl with <laughs> ten, nine, eight, ah! seven. You, six, I know you have something to say five, in this next five seconds. Four, I got, I got all my hood two, shit out on every other episode. That's true. This is your time. Okay, to it's do over. That. Yeah. Okay, we're done. No more mm-hmm. talk about the hood. Okay, so what whatever are we you do, because it's offensive and don't we're sorry. say anything about Yoda being in the hood. Okay. Or what he would do in the hood. Do you think or he would what hold- he would use the force to do in the hood, do or on that- the golf course I am. <laughs> hold my lightsaber sideways, I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got and my yep, one. <laughs> yep. No more talk about what Yoda would wear <laughs> if he was in the hood. Or how he would address Probably people. Be, he doesn't. Does Yoda wear anything? Is he? Yeah, naked? he has a robe. So is, he wears a Jedi robe. A Jedi robe. He has a robe. And, and he wears a chain. <laughs> people forget. He's on this. Not a chain, but he wears a necklace. People forget that. There's no. Will be, be no chain. talk of what Yoda's necklace would have. Yoda's necklace. Well, here's what it actually he has. It's like a. You know, it's like a. Have you seen the Tu Wong Fu? Huh? That movie where uh, Patrick Swayze and John Le- Le- Leguizamo and Wesley Snipes are drag queens? No, no. I think it sounds it's really Wong Fu. hot. Chu Wang Fu and thank you for I, I don't remember but thank um, you for smoking I think in that movie one of them has like a, a turd on a necklace whoa mm, but Yoda's Yoda has his semen in his necklace just in case he wants to make another Yoda <laughs> and there what? will be no we will not he talk about what it would be like, like a if Yoda was having a child in the hood <laughs> <laughs> if Yoda was making a baby in the hood or having sex in the hood we can't talk about it. Caleb There's and I are nothing shaking in our chairs. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to be said about the kind of girl that Yoda would be having a baby with in the yaddle. hood. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's it. Just yaddle. There's no suffix at the end that goes on for a while. Just yaddle. Okay? We're done. We're done with Yoda in the hood. I'm making an executive decision as one of We're the done. Three executives. Yeah, it's I over. Don't, nobody wants to hear about. Nobody what wants to hear kind of hood shit. Nobody wants to hear Yoda Yoda's freestyle that he does on the corner of the street in the hood. Nobody, nobody wants, to hear, wants that. to hear that. No, it's, that's not for you. It's nobody not, wants to hear. Uh, it's not. For I us. remember you was conflicted. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Where All right. Uh, yeah. I think you said it right. <laughs> Remember, you was conflicted. I do. <laughs> That's better. Um, yeah. But we're done. No, we're done. What, we're what, done. What is? What has everyone been up to? <laughs> we just got back from Los Angeles. Hmm. Uh, it sucked. I like. I can't it. even. I actually like L.A. now. I like you know, the first time I ever went there was to film the the Patrick goes to Jolly Bee. And I slept in the trash. That's it. Oh, this was a big upgrade for you. Yeah. yeah. No, I got to sleep. I only slept on the floor one time because I wanted to, you know, give your brother a, a couch. He slept on the floor, and my brother, I thought, at one point, Pat started snoring so bad that my brother left the house for two hours at, like, five in the morning. I just, wish I He went and slept that. in his car for a yeah. little bit. Yeah. It's pretty cool, yeah. That's how bad my snoring is. Your snoring's fucked, horrible, dude. dude. You are yeah. one of the worst snorers it's, I've, it's ever, terrible. I've ever seen. You beat Pete, dude. You beat really? my grandpa, yeah. I really got to get that sleep apnea mask. You my are, ex would be so scared that I would choke in my sleep. Why? You sound you, like you're constantly choking in your sleep. Do I? Yeah. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> That's not my problem. If I die, I die. That's damn. He's living on the edge. Whoa! Whoa. If, I mean, if I die in my sleep, at least I'm having like a crazy dream. Yeah. If I die I'm in my sleep sex. and I don't even know about it, I don't care. If it's I'm completely a crazy painless. ass dream where I'm having crazy sex, and I'm getting choked <laughs> by a bug queen. You wanna, <laughs> Whoa! You get choked by, by a, the bug queen. The I've been having cr- queen? I've been having crazy dreams. Oh yeah. Yeah. I had this dream the other night that I was. This is a very, <laughs> very like like revealing dream of the kind of stress that I. I have in my brain most of the time. I had a dream that I was on a plane and the plane started to take off and it like couldn't finish the takeoff and it crashed mm-hmm. and like exploded and I was fine. Like I got out of the, the plane crash and I walked back to the airport and I walked out of like the like the like security thing you can't go back into and then I was talking to somebody and I was like, Yeah, I was just on a flight that like crashed. Like, can I get my money back? And they were like, <laughs> No, after you leave the airport you can't come back in to get your money back and I was like, Oh, oh no. Me. I had a weird dream last night. 
It's a sexual dream. Nah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shut it down. Who is the victim? The victim? <laughs> Come on, man. Or the other... <laughs> who was the... <laughs> it, um, who was your lucky target? Well, here, the whole dream was that I was about to hook up with Fran Drescher, but I couldn't because Whoopi Goldberg was coming over. <laughs> we were supposed oh. to have a dinner party. <laughs> We may have misjudged him. Yeah. He might be in the old stinky grannies. <laughs> Are you? He might be a tomb raider. No. <laughs> Are you into old stinky? If it makes you stop calling me a pedophile, the, <laughs> no, the opposite of a cradle snatcher yeah. is a tomb raider. Yeah, you could, you yeah. Could, that's good. You could yeah, go both good, ways. Right? Mm. But it was like nanny frame yeah. dress. You're a crypt defiler. <laughs> I was in the nineties. Yeah. You were in the nineties. So I was a baby. <laughs> So yeah, it happened in '97, and I yeah. was a baby. Old then too. No, I don't even you kidding know. me. Fran Drescher on the nanny. I don't know who that is, man. She goes, ha! that lady. <laughs> she laughs what? like that. French Montana. Goes, ha! <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that? Yeah, ha! you know she'd be sipping the Hennessy. She would. Oh, dude, <laughs> we, we kind of knew an Uber to Rex's place that was like, <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop messing okay. with that desk. All right. <laughs> All right. If you don't want me to tell, okay, we got into an Uber that was like this, this it's like uh, a forty-five minute Uber, like nice. with this like fifty-year-old like cinephile like older black dude. Yeah, and he was just telling us about like Scorsese movies and stuff. Yeah, and I, then, I I recommended Mean Streets to him, and he was but he, he was held excited. out until the end that he was whose brother? Oh, Cali Swag District. He was the guy from Cali Swag District's stepbrother. Yeah, wow, or half brother yeah. or something, and he held that. The entire time. If I was an Uber us. driver, I'm leading with that every time someone comes in. I'm playing, yeah. like, teach me how to Dougie in the car and being like, guess whose stepbrother this is? <laughs> Mine. <laughs> That'd be cool if that was your stepbrother. Mm-hmm. It'd be Opposite cool if my coast. parents got divorced and I had more brothers yeah. and sisters. You The entire Cali Swag District mm-hmm. and the pack. I, would never, I don't video. want my parents to get divorced, but if that means two Christmases and the present They can just is, adopt. Present you want is extra more, brothers. more brothers and sisters. That is the ultimate gift. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the ultimate gift is if more you're, playtime. Is if your <laughs> if your parents divorce and then your dad marries somebody who has a has a hot daughter your same age, and no. then you can fall in love with your sister. No, the ultimate is <laughs> that's one of God's great gifts. That's happened to people. Ultimate that happens is to people all the dog. time. That, I heard us. I don't that remember. I think it happened when I was home. I heard somebody tell me that they that's, like. That's actually like one of the leading causes of love in the United <laughs> States. <laughs> Isn't that the plot of Clueless? I heard somebody. That's I know. the plot of a lot of movies. <laughs> yeah. yeah, many films. Many films I've uh, films I've consumed. This, yeah, many the, day, uh, many a day at the cinema. <laughs> Oh, remember we were in Tampa? We walked past that oh, fucking... Yeah. We, we saw, when we were in Tampa, we were walking around because we didn't want to take like Uber's places, and that's a place you're not supposed to walk yeah, at all. Yeah. But we literally, from our like our shitty like, Econolodge, we were walking to a Waffle House, and we passed by three different um like adult video centers yeah. and yeah. and i i like and when, when i looked up the route to walk there i was like oh we're gonna walk by and like an adult vil, uh, adult film center or whatever and the one that i saw we were gonna walk by we didn't even walk by that one we walked by three different ones yeah. so there was another one they that we could have walked they by. still exist in the south because they can afford rent it's when crazy I was, uh, when my friend turned 18 he turned 18 like right around halloween and so on halloween he was like dressed up as a ghost and he like we were, he was like, let's go into the adult, like, uh, uh, the adult movie thing. And I wasn't old enough, but he was like, let's go into the adult movie thing. I'll run around like a ghost. <laughs> and so he, he's going to get cummed on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, it was cool. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You're just like a well, yeah, yeah. In, in there. It's not a ghost. It's so just he, a rag. For yeah. He walked in dressed up as a, like a sheet ghost. And there's like a, there's like a, uh, a decompression chamber where they have to like check your ID and like let you in. Mm. <laughs> and so wash you. he did like that. It's an airlock. He like gave the guy his ID and then he goes in and he just ran around the video store like knocking videos off saying boo boo I'm a ghost. And then he came back out and then we got like a mile down the road and he was like oh shit I forgot my wallet in there. <laughs> so then he had to go back dressed as a ghost still and yeah. be like hey I I left my yeah. wallet on the ground. Well, yeah, Damn. we also walked by a porno theater, yeah, yeah a porno dude. movie theater, well, and when we saw somebody going in there yeah. at like noon, we yeah. made a joke. Yeah. We, we like saw him driving by, and was like, "Oh, this guy's going to the porno theater," and then he just pulled into the porno theater, and I was like, yeah. "Oh, 
also Fuck. in a in a place as small as like oh was, there was a, a like a bar attached to it too which yeah is well that's up you need the no you need the, the it was the a bar that had like it was like an arcade yeah. or something it was, it was a arcade like a, attached that's to what, the you porno you need theater. the plausible deny it needs to be porno theater and like yeah. a hallmark we were talking about store. like imagine like going there for the barcade and you're like hanging out and then at like whatever like like midnight the movie gets out and like it just fills with like <laughs> 50 year old yeah. <laughs> you're like oh fuck oh, like, they all walk up to you oh. like hey I got next they're tapping you on the shoulder they got sticky fingers <laughs> they're, they're walking up to you and they're asking if you can point them where the water is yeah. Yeah. Kids are so can dehydrated you, can you pull my quarters apart <laughs> yeah. so I can play a game yeah, yeah. just they're like imagining stuck. the flood of them coming back into the, the bar the flood after the is movie a disgusting yeah, yeah. Well, it would be a flood yeah probably yeah. just uh. busting open like the shining they're schlepping it sounds like they're walking uh. through a snowstorm <laughs> They got their galoshes on. <laughs> oh hell no! Not oh, for me. No, no That's way. So nasty. I, I would. They probably smell normal. I would never. They probably smell good. Yeah. Probably smells like Nag Champa. Oh my god! It smells like spring. I, is it just for guys who just can't figure out how to open the Internet Explorer? I think it's guys who are afraid of Internet well, Explorer. One thing is probably guys probably who are married, gotten, right? Yeah, yeah, need definitely. Who go to yeah. jack off because they don't know. The, it's, they, either, it's guys you know, who are married. Guys who are married and, and or guys, computer taken I mean, away. also, like, if you're homeless, yeah. like, not too many places to hang out in Tampa, I think, if That's you're homeless. That's true. Applebee's. Remember Apple, you saw yeah. that guy sticking in front of Applebee's? But if you're, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, he was sticking. Someone was sticking? Oh, he really was. Yeah, he was sticking right now? He was sticking right then. What did he say? He's yeah. sticking. I don't remember. Who's just going like... Blah, 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 like right in front of the door. He was like, sticking, stick. Like, oh, we got to show him our Vax card and IDs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think... Yeah. Uh, I guess it's for... You ever go to a guy's... Uh, uh, someone's house? I went to someone's house recently and they don't have a lock on the bathroom door. Oh. You're just like, how do you jack off in this goddamn hellhole bathroom? Right. You have your fucking... It's like one of those like... Like stay out of the cone of vision of the teachers, like flash games. But do you, with your, you, do with you, your... you usually just walk around, just just throwing open, like kicking down bathroom doors. I go to take shits and pisses. Yeah, you don't knock. You don't knock though. That's what no. I'm saying. You're Why to knock? Why wouldn't you no, knock? You're supposed to put a lock on a bathroom door. I my my the well, lock on my family's this. bathroom door was broken like my entire my entire yeah, childhood. You still don't have a lock on your your door at your, your it was your place. house. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's talking about your parents. No, I'm talking about a different one. I went recently. <laughs> That's why you were having trouble jacking <laughs> off in there. Tell you, I, you thought it would be rude. <laughs> <laughs> I went recently to a uh, to a uh, name names okay. whose house I is it? To, Where's their address? I went to Bulbop Grill. Uh huh. Okay, and they have a code. Oh, yeah. They have a code for the bathroom door, but the, no lock on yeah. it. Okay, well, yeah, if it's like a restaurant or yeah, something, they have yeah, to you have need a lock. lock. So I asked the lady, I was like, hey, can you open the door? And she was like, sure. And she goes over, and she put punches in the code, and then she opened it like this, like presenting it to me. And in there, there was just a woman taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just screamed. And then yeah. I saw the lady when she came out. She didn't look yeah. happy. No, I can imagine. Yeah. That happened to me. Uh, you ever, like, think that it... You know what's worse is a lock that's, like, not heavy enough... So when you twist it, you think it's locked, but it's yeah. not. Having me at that fucking uh, that breakfast spot that we went to with the big RBG mural. Oh yeah. You know what? You know what sucks even more than that is when there's a lock, but it doesn't like go. Like you have to like you can, there. You can tell there's some trick mm-hmm. that you have to like push the door in or pull it or something uh, while you're doing the lock. But you have to go to the bathroom so bad you can't uh, just like hang lodge, out. And, yeah, the fucking. We went door to a Korean open. pool hall that had no door or toilet. Seat oh, you know in what it was? That's sick. And it, the guy who worked there sat right next to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> No, they had a door, but the door was the dr- the door stopper was drilled in front of the door, so it would just stay open. So there yeah. was a door that said bathroom, but you couldn't open the door. Like it, it opened up until the door stopper. It was cool. I thought it was a very yeah. good design. The feng shui in that. Place oh yeah, was great. no. If you're, I mean, you're, you know, it keeps all the girls out. That's true. Yeah, they it was can't. a serious. Unless no girls I mean, unless it's supposed to, unless the guy wants girls to come in so he can just keep poking his head around the corner. Being, <laughs> the door yeah, is open. being That's the, the point. kind of pervert where you want to see girls going to the bathroom is so funny. Yeah, Chuck like, Berry. That's, that's just that's disgusting. No, he man. wanted to go to the bathroom on the girls. Well, he put cameras in his bathroom in his restaurant. Yeah. But oh, that's that's yeah. always the funny like 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 you're gonna, yeah you're gonna put cameras in in the bathroom. Why so do you, you want to? Yeah. yeah, so you can hear them farting and <laughs> see them shooting I out poop. Guys like poop and farts. And piss. Maybe you do. Maybe I you. hate pooping and... <laughs> Why are you and, saying it like I that? I hate pooping farts and pisses. Ugh. I hate that stuff. crap. If, if that... If, you like if, it, don't you? Nope. Never seen if it. If you did... So that, I wouldn't know. If you did, that would really change 
our friendship. If I got shit on all the time, yeah. If you were like the, if you were like a like Paul Giamatti and Billy, I would, I would, I would on feel, your chest and stuff. I don't like. I think it would that, cast a really negative light on the past like three years I've known you, where we talk about poop every day. Yeah, exactly. If I found out you were getting like sexual pleasure from it the whole time, no, I'm I'm so disgusted by poop. <laughs> You I'm have to saying, stop. I, I don't know how to say, say it that. Serious. The, say it serious. I'm so disgusted by poop. <laughs> is that why is that not believable? That's not believable. The thought of poop is repulsive to me. <laughs> you're do, you're doing like DreamWorks face when you say it. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I'm no. not. Oh my God, he it's looks, disgusting. You're to saying imagine. it like Megamind. Stop you saying it like, saying Megamind. like Megamind. Megamind. I hate, I hate poop with corn <laughs> in it. Poop with corn in it, it's, it's bad. What about red peppers? You're, there's not red peppers in poop. You can red get pe- red peppers. Yeah, I've poop. seen a red pepper. Yeah, you in can my get poop. red peppers. You guys poop. looking at your shit? Actually, mm-hmm. I look at my shit every single time. Yeah. You guys look at your shit. You, you just start. Why are you guys looking at your shit? I, look, I looked at a shit that I took Why yesterday, you and at your shit? it took. It was like I knew it was really bad, but I looked at it before I wiped just to get an idea, so that I wouldn't cover it with toilet paper, so that I like I get a survey of my shit, and it looked like you know when you in a porta potty how everything just sits on the top yeah. of the water it was exactly like that yeah. it was completely r- like rim to rim just covering the complete toilet why are Damn. you burping Ugh. what that is really nasty that was a heave that was it was dry cool heave. it looked like there was like a uh <laughs> looked like there was a, a brown no, you know what what this is too <laughs> much you know what it was i saw a gross video again and it's like been it's been affecting me what was the video uh, i told cameron about it but there's like a it was like, <laughs> so, don't make him talk. It's just, yeah. just it's just gross. Oh, yeah. it's not funny. It's, it's, yeah, it was. It's funny for the end part of it. The end part of it, but most of it is just like a shock value video. Somebody like reposted something that was like, uh, it was like a trailer for like a porno video. Uh huh. And they were like, "Damn, what the fuck is this?" You know, like you, you know, those videos just come to me. Yeah, and mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Somebody. That's a one way to put it. Just, yeah. yeah. No, it's not that I have. It's a, not. It's, it's not, not the other way around. Friend. You don't come to them. It's not like we have a friend who sends those videos to us. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was like a there. It was a a a, a, a woman in a glory hole porta potty, and there's a poop that falls down. <laughs> 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 that's funny <laughs> well, that's pretty funny but the video itself because it's like it's shot like texas chainsaw it looks really gross <laughs> and and then uh the like the last shot of the whole trailer is like a whole human head up a woman's ass whoa uh-huh do they yeah. do an, an inside camera like uh, no like 127 no. hours i'm sure i'm sure they get an after shot but that that would like literally like Can you imagine what that feels like for both yeah. parties yeah, that's do you, nuts. Do you, like, Wearing ho- someone like a helmet? Do you like hold your breath? <laughs> You'd you have, have to. Yeah, yeah. You can't breathe in someone's. Yeah, ass there's not hair. air in there. Yeah. Also, it's like not, you can't. You, know, you, can't, you <laughs> can't stretch that. Do you get like a snor- like a reverse snorkel <laughs> yeah. that points well, down? It's like it's like having Stop. your <laughs> what a snorkel. I'm, no, I'm, God damn what? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Stop it! Get, why, why are you lurching? Why is that making me cry? <laughs> It would be. I mean, yeah, such a high tolerance for stuff. This is, I've never I've seen it would probably be shit, like, but this is like genuinely affected. Me. It'd probably a be snorkel? like, like, like having like <laughs> so pet. I want you to look, pet. Snorkel. Look at me. I mean, it'd probably just be like having like your head in a grocery bag made of pork. <laughs> Gross. Imagine trying to take a breath and like a grocery bag, the the yeah. lining of the person's asshole like sucks up to your mouth. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, oh, Julie, it's your fault that I'm dry heaving. So if you're listening to this, don't. That's the name of that. the woman. Yeah. <laughs> the thing in her head. <laughs> yeah. 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 At least you wouldn't be able to see anything. That's true. You, you wouldn't, wouldn't know that you were in a person's asshole. You would not be able to see the how much well, poop okay, was going. You would think you were stuck if in a you balloon. You woke up in a butt saw <laughs> style. It's getting stuck in a balloon. It's like stuck in a balloon. Yeah, it's like really, really tight down here. <laughs> it's what? It's you, like you look like the Airheads person. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say 
<laughs> wake up in a butthole saw style. Yeah. You wake up and it's like, yeah. Hello. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear a thing you're saying. Yeah, they just die in 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Your, goal, your only goal is get out of the right. asshole. Well, well, okay, so you the have person, to feed, you have you to would feed be the, the person, person whose butt you're inside laxatives fast enough that they poop out your you, head. You yeah. would probably be the person who woke up with a dead person's head in your ass. Yeah, and then you have to eat the... You have to, you have eat, to, to eat to poop them out. You have to eat a bunch of prunes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think prunes give you enough shitting power to poop out a human head. Yeah, you might you need to give yourself... What? Any Mediterranean food. True. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I leave... Hey, I leave freaking Zitar, Taco fucking, Bell. Yeah. Damn. Hey, freaking Taco Bell spicy food. I, I eat the falafel at Zatar. Great. I mean, you know, no disrespect to Zatar, but I eat the falafel there... It's it comes it goes in smelling the same way it comes out. I went to Arby's the other day. Oh, jeez, so good. When were you in L.A.? Nope. The other oh. day when I was I was leaving town yesterday, grabbed some. It, Arby's. W- it would be like being inside an Arby's sandwich. It would feel yeah. exactly like yeah. That. That's exactly what it would be. Meat, yeah, and, yeah, and and an ajou. sauces. Yeah, yeah, horsey sauce. Yeah, Arby's red sauce. Curly fries. Yep, curly <laughs> fries hitting you in the eyeball. <laughs> oh, remember they had the curly fry vodka. No. Arby's came no. out with a curly fries vodka. What does that mean? That's like none curly of my, fries that's none of my flavored goddamn vodka. business. That sounds aw- atrociously yeah. awful. Yeah. But I think Arby's keep I think Arby's comes correct most of the time. I think Arby's is very strong. Yeah, no, I think I think everybody hates Arby's for no reason. And uh just get the beef sandwiches. I think sandwiches. the, the sandwiches do, I think you. are kind of gross, but I like their fries. The fries are crazy. The, the yeah. sandwiches, sandwiches and I have eaten a bunch of the, like I'm not saying they're gross like I wouldn't eat them. I just think as fast food sandwiches go, they're not very good. Oh, I'd rather eat something fried. There's so much more normal than like a McDonald's hamburger though. Yeah. It yeah, does. they're more Arby's normal. Like but like meat, I don't I don't right? go to a fast food place to get like a normal sandwich. Yeah, I, the horsey I go there sauce and I'm like, is good. I'm healthy. Horsey sauce is just mayonnaise and horseradish and it's good. Yeah, exactly. I like horsey sauce. Horsey sauce. I've like I've liked horseradish. I liked horseradish like ever sauce. since I did I did a Passover seder one time and they gave me yeah. horseradish and horseradish said, and beets. Yeah, and I said I literally got up on top of the table at Passover seder. <laughs> yes! I said horse, these bitters are bussing. You did, everybody you did loved that it. like uh, you did like Tom Cruise with Katie Holmes. You yep. got up on there. I said I I love this. I love this. I love this. <laughs> It was cool. I made a sandwich the other day. I got a. I bought a thing of horseradish and beets. Like, did you know, like the uh, the chopped? Horseradish did your and older beets. brother ever tell you that Manwich had human meat in it? Never. I didn't eat sloppy joes until oh, I was like fifteen. Speaking of human so. meat, I got to show you guys my new favorite video. I saw it. Did you see it? Yeah, with the did human you, hand. Yeah. Pull did you like it? Let me pull it up. Hold up. This video is really so good. grossed me out. There, really, I mean, it's the hand so part funny. really grossed me the out. Hand, what, it's just like a. I know, but it just we're looked talking about weird. a lot of really gross videos today. And that's what gets, but that's what gets Caleb, is the is the hand. Yeah, I'm a sure picture, Caleb a clip saw this video. A, I saw he. I'll watch any dookie shitting pisser vomit movie. Yeah, but I don't like gore. No, it's not gore. It's, it's just not the head gore of the at all. Ass is just too much. No, but I don't like gore. That's yeah, no, I don't this like, is not I'll even really gore. Thing. I oh, hate what watching about donkey hit by train. Pakistan? Well, that's not even gore. That's like it's, but, yeah. it's a firework. That's True. nothing to me. And it's not even. He doesn't even get hurt. All right, here's here's a video called "Human Meat in New York Restaurant." You won't believe this. Where and is this news people channel can't based hear out this, of? Right. Well, I'm going to hold the oh, okay. mic up to a computer speaker, but it says it's a woman uh, green screened into a, a, a news studio that says Clearview TV News. Must be in Clearview, Florida. Probably Damn. must be. I think it's from the big monitor. I think you need to turn it up. It's up all the way. All right, well, I'll just say everything she says. Yeah. Swatty is, uh, is a human Oy. hand, flesh, New York City. Well, See, this that's is gross a bus. looking. Here, I'll pull it up on my phone. Then I'll be able to actually hold it up to that's the speaker. That's disgusting looking to me. No, this is normal. That's yeah. not normal. That's not a real human hand. I know it's not, but it grosses me out to think Why that it Why does it gross could be? you out? Because I don't like meat. You like you meat. Don't like, you like meat. Raw meat disgusts me. I saw you eat a burger. I like the taste of meat, but raw meat is really gross to me. Actually, you know what? We went to a burger place. Here's a video. Shh. Okay. You got a quinoa bowl. The opened restaurants within okay. New York City has received approval as the United States' first licensed eatery to serve human flesh on its menu. The restaurant simply called Skin received a license after petitioning the state and federal government 
over laws against cannibalism. Restaurant restaurants owner Mario Dossi, a four star Michelin mm. chief, <laughs> said, and we quote, Michelin as a species, chief. we are at the top of the food chain, and the only meat left to tackle he, was this. Other I looked at this rib cage, and like, that would be that's like Shaquille O'Neal's ribs. So that's a huge guy, yeah. so it's a cow's the rib. So yeah, it's like a, the size of a cow. We were in the right <clears throat> And of course, you know, people always say that, that, that he human has flesh been fighting tastes like pig, like pork. Who decided this? People who ate it in colonial times. Who's eating these people? Cannibals. Who's doing all this cannibalism? You name names. The Donner Party. What's that? Specifically to his restaurant. Check out that little musical Knowing called Cannibal the Musical well written by Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Yeah. This is the best I part. I will. And we have to keep meticulous records. And there is a lot of paperwork someone has to fill out before they die and before they can be eaten. We do pay handsomely for body donations, though, and the money can be used for anything since funeral expenses become zero when you donate your body to be eaten. Dusty says that there are plenty of dishes on the menu that do not include human meat, but those leery of the process should not order at all. According to Dusty, just like on those packages of candies with allergy warnings that say the machines also are used to make items with nuts. Uh, utensils are also used to cook human meat. So okay. don't come and if you are not down with what we do. So do not come if you are not down with what we do. I think that's fair. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Like, I, Have you ever seen that picture that is like sometime during some famine, some people are like selling their kids meat? No. It's pretty cool. Have you ever seen that picture? And it's, it's a pretty uh, cool photo. It's like that baby, and it's screaming, and it says, "Get to the chopper." That is that a funny, one's funny that as hell. Have you seen the one that shit. says, "I like yeah. waffles" with uh-huh. the same baby, but he's not. He's he's out of his fatigues. Yeah. Have you, you seen like, the one where it's like the, the um, it's like good guy Greg? Yeah, and it has words on the top and the bottom. Yeah. Damn, that one's funny. I yeah. don't think I could eat a person. I don't think I could eat any raw meat ever. I... What about sushi? Could eat raw I don't, fish. Yeah. You ate sushi. I saw you eat sushi. Uh-huh. But those are different fun colors. Yeah, it's true. I just proved I just proved red. Caleb wrong with logic. So Would you hard. eat kidneys? Have you guys ever had liver? I've been meaning to. It's so weird tasting. I've been meaning to eat like a I, like yeah. I've I, been I've been meaning to eat a giant chocolate bar. Yeah, yeah, or a feast made of candy. Where would you even get a feast made of candy? Oh, my God. You're putting some and crazy ideas in my head. I can't drop the name of the restaurant because I don't want... Uh, I need JP to be able Licks. to get a reservation. Shh. That's ice cream stop. It's not JP Licks. Okay. Don't ask me to give any more information about this candy factory. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> we need to do a... Tr- uh, a pod trip to Hershey, Illinois. Yo. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. It's Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah. Home of the ocean blue. We should just do a series where we it's get to go to every candy British. factory in America. Okay. Yeah. We should do our heart. Heart. Yeah. Yeah. investigative journalism. It, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, do, we, we say that we're the from... The candy tasted good. And the candy was delicious. Years they later, used... they produced a chocolate bar that tasted delicious to me. <laughs> <laughs> And what do you have to say about reports that you make one of the best candy bars in the world? <laughs> Doing like yeah. tra- framing as like a true crime thing. Yeah, be yeah. like a girl. We heard a girl went missing at the Hershey's factory. We'll but have to taste every later. kiss <laughs> to make sure none of them have any flesh. We sat down with a fat guy to hear what he thinks about Hershey's chocolate. <laughs> yeah, basically it's all about baby boots. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, he's all time. They feed me all the food in the factory. And, is, and do you have any Hershey's with you now? Sir. Yes. And could I have a bite? Yes. And would you consider Hershey's chocolate bars to be brown? Brown. Mm. <laughs> yes. mm. Very interesting indeed. My name is, Back to you, Caleb, with your chocolate is, bar. My name is Chocolate mm. Hershey. Mm. That's, that's my, good. That's mm. my full name is Chocolate Hershey. His name is Chocolate Hershey? Yep. And he sounds like that? He sounds like that. Kind of sounds like Post stroke Cleveland. Oh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Becoming Meatwad. <laughs> we sat down with Meatwad to see if he likes chocolate. <laughs> I love chocolate. <laughs> I love chocolate. Chocolate's chocolate. so good. Of course I love chocolate. <laughs> Damn, I love that shit. We sat down we with sat- Yoda <laughs> de la Ghetto. <laughs> no, we're, no, no, we're we didn't sit down. Yoda. No. We didn't sit down. <laughs> 
It's just normal Yoda. We this sat just down with in, Yoda De La Ghetto has been sh- has been shot no, outside no, the no, 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 for no. trying to steal all the candy. No. Why is he? St- <laughs> no, no. He wasn't family. trying to steal. There we go. No. That's what I like to hear. And we don't want to hear what his family would be like. <laughs> we don't want like some kind of club we don't. Style yeah, we situation. don't want him to dress up as every member of his family. <laughs> We don't. We okay? don't want to. And we don't want to hear. And we do not. Him. We absolutely, definitely, one hundred percent, do not want to hear about what happened on their road trip to the Hershey's factory. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want ninety minutes of that. So that can't make want. five million dollars at the box office. And oh, I would hate that. <laughs> the last thing and I be want. blacklisted from what? Hollywood. <laughs> I don't want to see there yet. Are we? I don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the last movie there that. Yet are we? That's the last movie I want to see. Oh, is there geez. yet? Are we two? Mm-hmm. I don't. I just don't want to see. It. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go to the Hershey factory though. I think one day. Well, I want to go to Hershey Park. I mean, we really should just be going at a bunch of different places all the time. Yeah. Man, what if there was there is a way so for true. what if there is a way for us to go to a bunch of different places? I can't get out of my house. Yeah, the door's locked. <laughs> there was a cool way. I'm in bed because I'm tired. in different places. <laughs> what, what are you trying to do? Yeah, what are you yeah, doing? Magic you... carpet. Oh, okay. Look behind you, Cameron. No shot. It's not magic. Fuck. Well, no, it's not magic. All we got to do is find I'm, a genie. Uh, the magic one's in the other room. Fet. Ah, yeah. He got mixed up. Our magic carpet. This one's magic. You can pee on it. Don't smell. <laughs> <laughs> You guys Not ever... all magic carpets are magic that they fly. <laughs> oh, that's just one of them. <laughs> one time... You can pee on it and I, I can't smell it. My girlfriend yeah. can. But one time I my can. little brother just dropped trow in our... Uh, we had a basement. It was like unfinished, you know, like concrete Ooh, floor. Ooh, I had time, a concrete uh, floor. One time he just dropped trow, pissed Tony on the Stark concrete, concrete and let it dry. Floor. Yeah. You didn't you tell me that you were putting you know nasty has... water all over a concrete floor? Oh well, I was emptying your the dehumidifier a, in there. Your uh-huh. family is obsessed with with doing stuff to the floor. <laughs> he loves sleeping on the floor. Yeah, this is all making sense. Did you like? Did you have a traumatic experience when you slept on the floor and your brother peed on you on the no. floor? Did you have? And a, it make you, you want to sleep on the floor forever? With the floor? I had a traumatic experience with a reclining chair. I bet you he had like a. That? I bet he had like a like a very. Did I ever young, tell you about like my rec- early life sexual experience with a floor? Yeah. where he was like fucking. He was like rubbing his dick against the floor, and yeah. that's why he's what so attached that? to it. Something outside. There's some oh, okay. kind of music. It's New York, baby. It's the music of the True. street. Never and we you don't want to rec- hear about Yoda's music of the street. <laughs> <laughs> Ever tell you about the reclining chair incident? Uh, that I had when I was five. Probably. It's trying one, to- of the, like, one of those horrible like family group chat stories. <laughs> probably. Yeah, probably. I know. Yeah. I'm, I, I, like, uh, you don't you wanna... could kind of hear me and Caleb both go. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. yeah. Uh, uh, don't make is this it, into what, the is reclining. Is it like, scary? Okay, let me, let me, do, yeah. uh, let me ask some questions. Okay. Does any does something scary happen? Something scary happened to me. Okay. Does something does something crazy happen? Yeah. Did okay. Somebody does something get in funny trouble? happen? Yeah. Does it involve your family? Uh huh. If you answered yes to all four of these questions, you should not tell the story. <laughs> really? No. Tell the story. No. Tell it. Tell no. It. I, I, can, I can just sum it up. I got my head stuck in a reclining chair when <laughs> I was okay, five. This one sounds good. <laughs> yeah. I feel bad now. How you, did you know, get like your the. Head you know, yeah, like, okay. Go. Just run it. So I thought that was there was the something. Line. Now I thought the there was something pitch. under the the chair. I thought there was like an action figure or something, <laughs> and like a you know, like the little toy guns that come with the Star Wars guys. Yeah. No, but mm-hmm. I can imagine. So we were always losing those. So I thought I found one. And I put my head under to try and get it yeah. with your my mouth? head in my hand oh, okay. under the. You know, like the. You know how it's got like that system of uh, you pull the lever and then the chair goes yeah, up. Yeah, they're yeah. terrifying. Yeah, like, so I got like my head. Lazy boy? I, that's like getting caught in like a roller coaster. It's like yeah, getting caught in I got my head scenery. stuck between yeah. the bar somehow. This like getting sucked giant into a, a lathe. Yeah, yeah. I got my head stuck in between it. Couldn't get my head out. Uh, and I was stuck under there for probably like thirty minutes trying to like call my mom to get like help and my little brother was jumping on the couch <laughs> so like every time he would jump the bars would like close in and out on my like che- like Whoa, my, my neck damn. like that and uh so you were without oxygen to your brain for an extended period of time no i, I wasn't without <laughs> oxygen but my mom freaked reduced it. my mom did, severely yeah. reduced severely reduced mm. oxygen and for with machinery time, hitting your head mm-hmm. so there might be some kind of permanent my mom damage. freaked the fuck out and told me i could have been decapitated and i was like well 
That would be kind of it funny. Probably could have been. My dad knew a guy who got de- decapitated. Yeah. Stuck his head out of a bus in a tunnel, chopped his head off. Your dad did? Yeah, my damn, my dad did that and he died. They, well, yeah. he survived. That happened to me they too. Just glued <laughs> well, his he head was back fine. On. Yeah, they just yeah. stitched. I got it decapitated, back on. but my head bounced back <laughs> on, so yeah. it just stayed on. Yeah, it healed just like, backwards. There now. was a guy yeah. who did. He did like, he watched like, uh, like fucking a thousand decapitations and just like made notes about like how much the people blinked and shit. And I was like, that's a pretty cool job. What? There was a guy? What are you yeah. talking about? He's just a good scientist. What does that mean? He's a scientist. There was a guy who watched a thousand decapitations and took notes? He was, he was, he was on, on, what are you talking about? Illinois he, was on, yeah. <laughs> he was on assignment. Yeah. I don't like, understand the premise of the... Could, it was what like is French this? Revolution. He was a scientist. He wanted to study how their heads. What there happens was, after he was they, in the French Revolution. He was a oh, guy. You were just you were being unhelpful right now. You, no, you know singer. exactly what I'm talking about. It was, a, it was a scientist during the French Revolution. See, that's what I'm saying. You introduced us by just saying there was a guy it who doesn't watched matter. thousands it of doesn't decapitations. Doesn't matter what he what his job is. It was a, it was a <laughs> sheet. Matter. He watched it. He made notes, and he said that everybody. He said that everybody. Uh, he would tell them like, once your head gets chopped off, can you like. Stick your tongue out or something, <laughs> and then they would. <laughs> They'd be like, "Okay, word." It was a she, and it was the lead singer of the Yeah Yeah Yes. I don't know. What I don't. Yeah, heads, heads will roll. Remember that what? song? No, I don't. Uh, it's you over. don't remember that it's song? Yes, I do. I listened to it earlier. It's How over. How old it's were you when that song it's came it's out? It's done. done. Remember that one? It's over from Project it's X. It's done. You, your uh, corduroys are are folded, so it looks like you have I a very know. wide boner. Yeah, it's an episode of Curb. Is it? Yeah, it's probably one of the first or second episodes. This is your boner. Ep- this is your episode mm-hmm. where you have a boner. <laughs> Cameron's trying to lick okay, it. Okay, so if it's not your boner, I'll test it with your mouth. Yeah. Don't Fine. Boner. If it's not your boner, let me just stick my hands in both your pockets and find no, the real I one. I have. I have uh, penile excavatum. I hmm? pushed it in. What? Penile excavatum. Oh, know, could you pull it out like yeah. a sword? Well, you, if you push, if you pull it out, it's it's carinatum. Did you know there was a guy who looked at one thousand boners to see what the science was of them? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe that. It was I'm a you. good friend. That's yeah. why you <laughs> believe it. <laughs> it wasn't me. Yeah, it was me. It was that's yeah. Caleb. That's why you perked up. Yeah. I've, probably, I've probably honestly through my life seen. I probably a yeah. Thousand, I guess not I've in person, but if we're counting pictures and videos, I've seen a thousand I've boners. Seen, yeah, I've seen a lot of boners. Probably at least a thousand boners. I've probably seen more than that over my whole life Jeez. a thousand yeah. that's nothing yeah nobody knew like i would be nobody knew what boners were until i came on the scene 150 years ago <laughs> 150 years ago i might be the guy in the world who's seen the most penises ever mm. that's you could probably probably any person in the world right yeah. now if you sent them back yeah be like, the number one all-time guy who saw the most penises they probably didn't the even thing, know yeah. what they. Everybody just thought everybody's penis looked like theirs. Mm-hmm. They don't know about the mushrooms. The thing is, though, if you if you went back in time and and tried to get like a, a Guinness World Record for that or yeah. something, they'd probably just kill you. Yeah, definitely. They'd Guinness World Record for yeah. world immediately. Guinness World Record for like world's even, biggest. They wouldn't penis even until... like ask you. Like they wouldn't even try to check if you really were. They just for claiming to be that they would just immediately kill yeah. you. Yeah, absolutely. You're trying like, to start. Guinness there was world an, there was an entire wing of Guinness World Records that was just a honeypot for people who. Seen a yeah. lot of penises. Mm-hmm. Also, oh, if you were time seen traveling, a lot of, I thought you were doing Guinness World Records for biggest penis back in the seventies. Because I feel like back in the seventies, biggest penis probably like no, like that was awesome six, back then. Six inches. <laughs> no, no, that was pre microplastics. No, yeah, that was back six then. Inches. Biggest that, one that was, was like six they, feet they, long. They, 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 had, they didn't have microplastics. Everybody had a huge chalk, True. man. Yeah. yeah, that was we when got we got nature. fucked by Teflon. Yeah, I know. You know, you know what? If Ron Jeremy had that piece of shit had that hog, Ron, yeah. Ron Jeremy would have would have been laughed out of the. He should have been rolled out of the penis club. Out of the penis club in caveman times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that should be his. I think that should be one of his, the terms of his sentence. My, what should he rolled down a hill in a tire? <laughs> Because it would be funny to watch that freak would that probably fat like that. Fuck rolled He'd probably, down probably, probably tire. He probably fucked a tire while he's rolling yeah. down. That's and the think problem it was awesome. with him. Any punishment, he'll just fuck it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Lethal injection. Yeah. He's gonna lethally inject it into his own mouth. Mm-hmm. You know, he can suck his own lethal injection needle. <laughs> he could. He could. It's pretty impressive. His, yeah, that's that's how he got hired in the business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, he always looked like shit too. You ever seen like a picture of him young? I've seen every single photo of him. <laughs> Every photo ever taken of Ron Jeremy, every video, I've seen every last one. It's all oh, just sitting in remember, my head. I think they should. I think that the the CIA should hire him as like an executioner, like how they like hire like Nazi scientists and stuff, mm-hmm, true. and just have him kill people. Yeah, just have him yeah. be like a, an old fat, like just chop people's heads off. 
That'd be cool. I think that'd be. I think you'd do really well under like a, that would a black suck. hood. Yeah, it would suck if you're. He's like you you're about one? to get your head I did. chopped. I off. purposely didn't and he's say like, anything. Any last words? Yeah. You see his dick in his pants? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's so hard too. Ugh. He's hard all the time. That scene where he gets the fuck shot out of him in Boondock Saints, pretty good. And the whole movie, pretty good. Boondock Saints. I, oh, I think. I, wait, I have my Boondock Saints shirt on. Are you right wearing now, I it? I think so. Wait, maybe. I'm you're gonna... you're wearing it because you said that you never wear it. No, no, I wore it yesterday. Uh, yeah, yeah. He Sorry. he talked about it in L.A. and because we were talking about how I have to get rid of so many clothes, and uh, he said that he's like, oh yeah, no, I never wear it. And it's like I would wear that shit every fucking day, and he's over here just. But like, you dress. I just fun- you wear toe. funny it's stuff. It's on my toe. It's just my slipper. He, you like wearing really funny shirts. I don't wear a lot of really he's, funny shirts. He's, he's a, a funny he's shirt. A funny wear. shirt guy. Yeah, yeah. He likes funny shirts. It's important. I. It's important. It, are you, to, you're saying to, that to get me to remove stuff? No. What? All your clothes are it's funny important. right now that you have on. <laughs> but keep them on. Yeah. yeah. Keep it's your important clothes on. to grow out of being a funny shirt person. Unless you're, you're pa- I think Patrick, it works for him. Yeah, because he has a funny shirt personality. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he just want me to kill myself. Nah. Well, a funny shirt can come in a lot of different forms, right? Because yeah. it can be like a you know a snorg tea type yeah. thing, or it can be something ironic that you know it, like or whatever. It's not something you really like yeah. or whatever, or it can just be something that looks like what a clown would wear. Don't or it could <laughs> <that> clowns you <laughs> wear. You should get a shirt that says, I'm Chugi. I would, too. You would, <laughs> would literally. He would pay uh, eighty nine ninety nine for a shirt that said, I'm Chugi with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he would, you would, if, I think you would probably spend like $60 on a shirt that had a picture of Mickey Mouse and said, Chugi normies back off. <laughs> I would pay. I mean, it depends on how old the Mickey Mouse shirt is. It's one day old. It's one day old, but it's listed on Depop as being 70 years old. It's one day old, and Ben Mora put a sticker on it that says, Chuggy Life. <laughs> would you buy it? Maybe. Yeah, you would. Honestly, just to support my friend. Yeah, that's very sweet of you. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'd probably buy it I am wearing. Yeah. A, I am wearing one of Ben's shirts under this. I am wearing the Wikipedia editor-in-chief shirt under this shirt. So Nice. See, you like shirts. Yeah. Shirts yeah. are cool. I only have like six shirts right now. And they yeah. suck. Every last one of them is terrible. You can, go, you can, yeah. you can come to my, my closet. Shirts, you yeah. can come take some stuff. I would love to see, take yeah, some yeah. shirts. See, yeah, I sit here yeah. talking shit about funny shirts, but I just only wear just stupid band shirts. Yeah. And that's, I need to grow out of that pretty soon, I think. When are we going to You don't have the, to grow out I just of it. recently. I don't a, think you can be like in your late 20s and wear just band shirts. Like, I think, I think once, I think I have a few more years left of wearing band shirts, and then I just have to be like, there I have to dress a, like an office there worker. There is a point where you have to stop caring about swag. Yeah. Yeah. You can't, gotta, you can't be trying years. to. Yeah. You, get you a can't cu- be you trying get to, like, to be swag. I think, I think once I'm 28, I got to stop. Once you're 28, you got to stop caring about swag. Yeah. Completely. You literally just have to dress like a normal guy for yeah, the rest of your life. Yeah. If you try to dress cool and you're, yeah. and you're that old, like you should nah, be. I don't you know. You should be dead. Well, no, I think you just devolve it. You evolve the swag mm-hmm. into you grown start, man swag? Yeah. You start wearing like shoes made out of leather and like. like that's uh, not swag, that's in class. Like, yeah. Exactly. It's not a, swag it's not. is evolved class or class. So is you want to swag. turn your chuggy swag into normie class? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe Shit. Patrick's gonna turn twenty eight and immediately start dressing like one of, like a uh, like one of those guys that like the people always post. That's like a, a a dominator on Tumblr who's like dressed in like. Do you have you seen those gifs of the guy the people who go like <laughs> yeah, come the here? Guy, like, the yeah. guys who point the finger. Yeah, like, like holding like a, a belt, like a like. Like a, a blue dress shirt, but a vest with it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the worst, the worst possible combination of clothes. Blue, yeah. blue shirt, black vest, black tie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they like make those TikTok videos yeah, they're where like, they're like, "You here now?" They're like, <laughs> "I'm gonna be your worst sexual yeah. nightmare, yeah, baby." Exactly. <laughs> My cum is poisonous. So they're like also finger. wearing a bowler hat. Too. They're wearing like a bowler hat and, the, the... and a filter that gives them fangs yeah. and red That's eyes. Cool, man. And they're just like, it's like a... I have done a lot of thinking about What's this. Song? I do think no matter what age I am or what tooth I lose, if I lose a tooth, I will be getting a gold tooth. Oh, me too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Me too. Absolutely. I had, a silver, do I, had a, I had a silver crown when I was in the third grade. It would look so it fucked up out. if I just like all my chipped teeth, I just filled in the blank space with like just a little bit of gold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'd be fun. I want to get a diamond in one of my teeth. 
Yeah, I want to get a computer in my teeth. I think yeah, I might get yeah. a tooth tattoo. I think I'm going to get a car stuck in my mouth. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Yeah. yeah. What if you shave all your teeth down so it looks like a Lamborghini? You know when, when you, you see smile? a guy, the, the worst the outline is... of a Lamborghini. Like a oh, that would be sick. So every time that you close your mouth, it's yeah, like a perfect like, laser can, engraved yeah. Lamborghini. And you can eat Lamborghini-shaped foods when your mouth is closed. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, I've been, I've been. It's like that show hole in the you wall. Can eat that's, my, that's my eating, superpower. Lamborghini I can eat dippers. Lamborghini. I eat Lamborghinis <laughs> with my <laughs> mouth closed. Swedish, Swedish Lamborghinis. That's what I've been eating. I, yeah. uh, or I anything like... smaller than a Lamborghini shaped <laughs> food. Yeah. Recently, like I've, been, I've been meeting Pinto. too many. <laughs> Bean. I been... can smoke fifty cigarettes through my <laughs> whole MIT. <laughs> Uh, I've been meeting too many like thirty-year-olds where like they look, they dress like Blady. And then you ask them how old yeah. they are, and they say they're like thirty-five. Yeah, and you're like, that's dangerous. That's man, I'm gonna. Well, if they look young, they should li- they should ma- live on an island. Mm. If they look, if they look super young, like if they have like a youthful. Well, thing, no, 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 because it doesn't yeah. it doesn't matter how they look if they, it it's is if they are that problem. old. Yeah, that's that's a problem in their brain. Yeah, what's like that's what is not, Blady dressed? They like? could look. I mean, they could look uh, cool like an he elf. Dresses like yeah, like a, a cyber if elf, like a gay, a thirty-three-year-old Vlon soldier. V Lone Soldier. I saw V Lone Soldier at the bowling alley while I was in Wilmington. Yeah, yeah, and I saluted him. Mm-hmm. It was pretty Dude, cool. Dude, the fucking the minute I get into V Lone, <laughs> you need to start wearing full V Lone, bro. <laughs> I, I Honestly, get, that I get, would be I get so really cool. into V Lone. I get really into Antisocial Social Club. Yeah. Oh, I get yeah. really into uh, that would be big. What's that third one? Uh, Revenge the tra- the Travis Scott shoes that are just uh, Vans Walking old schools with, with the, the lightning bolt in the yeah. side. Yeah. Uh huh. That'd be sick, dude. I saw. I saw. Never saw somebody wearing those in my life. I might have to get a V Lone shirt for the next live show. Yeah, yeah. You got it, dude. You got to get the Travis Scott revenge shoes. I'm actually no. Get, those are the fucking the who's it, Ian Connor. I might have fucking to get rapist guy or whatever. Fully V Loned up. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I need to. I need to start planning a fit. Yeah, I, I already got mine planned up. out. I think what I need to you, get it. I guess don't spoil it. Oh well, I don't care. I don't mean unless you want to. What? The fit. I don't know what it oh. is. Should I get a is it like tummy rocker tattoo that says doo doo? That would be <laughs> really sick. <laughs> you should get. Well, I mean, get it's like, old English. Just yeah, doo doo yeah. across the belly. <laughs> yeah, that would be really tight. That'd be cool. Yeah. Is it Ian Connor? I don't want to. I said something very crazy just then. What? Ian Connor <laughs> is the raper. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Because that name yeah. just is From like Smosh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That name literally is like anybody's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That's yeah, like yeah. Be called that's like, like you making up a devil like, da fucker. That's like uh, Demonius X trying to make up, <laughs> 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 trying to make up names. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's like Demonius X coming up with a white. I think person's I'm name. coming up on a on a uh, on a swag turn. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm coming up on. I think I'm going to change my whole swag soon. I think I'm. I think I'm pivoting towards no swag. I think I might turn into a biker. I, I think, think I'm becoming. I think I'm becoming be zero. Chuggy. I think I might be going zero swag. Really? Yeah. I feel like there's something to that. Yeah. I think. I think it's going to be the next big thing. I I've been wearing. I've been literally wearing the past nah, two dude, weeks. I've been wearing. Was so 2014. I've been wearing sweatpants <laughs> and 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 Tom and Jerry pullover sweatshirt. If you went, I think I might just full, wear that forever. If you went full from China though, full uh, China could be really. So okay, the the China thing is so hard. It's so difficult yeah. because the real like what it is missing and I know I said this before it is missing the crucial element that there is no hat that I'm allowed to wear. You can wear yeah. a rice patty, bro. Just pop it on. I did. Oh, actually I could. I did see a cool Feel when I was in rice China. patty hat. <laughs> I didn't buy it cuz it was really <laughs> expensive for no reason but like a there was a, a hat in Chinatown that was like a red baseball cap with like a, dra- a golden dragon Ooh, on it. That's perfect. And I think Ooh, you that know what I you might could have get. To, do you guys want to go to Chinatown? I would yeah, love I'd love to go to Chinatown. Yeah, you I just guess. get full China fits. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have Let's to go get like some pants. next week. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go whenever, dude. Mm-hmm. I, I just, hey, I just finished up being my my uh, COVID quarantine Psh. that I definitely didn't have all along, and it was just my girlfriend that had it, and yep. I never actually had it, so I didn't spread it to anybody or give it beast. to anyone. Yeah, I completely beat it. Um, Doesn't you could go to you went to Chuck E. Cheese every to go day. So it was many. Cool. Yeah, I spread it to thousands and thousands of people people in these socks? i've never worn these socks before i just sorry what um yeah no yeah, go ahead go say what you're gonna say no, no go let's ahead go to, say no, uh, no talk about yourself no, you talk about what you're the, saying. no the, what, what did you never see before on the your rds socks? 
Oh, and when we go to Chinatown, skateboards. we're going to finally buy a fucking Mahjong set, okay? Oh, yeah. Because they have Guys, those on sale all, we all over the place there. Mahjong. You know, you could get, um, there's this there's, uh, RDS Red Dragon, Red Dragon Skateboards, their logo. It's like the Red Dragon thing, but it looks like a penis. I'm not wearing anything the skateboard related. Yeah, you, you're wearing some right now. What? Pants? What? My My seed. What? what? I nutted on him. You nutted? <laughs> I nutted on him. You nutted on I him? I can't be wearing anything skateboard related. Why not? Not because I don't think skateboarding is cool <laughs> or whatever. Um, no, but if if anybody... I can't be a person wearing like skater stuff and then people come up to me and start talking about skating. I like that. That's like... To me, that's like the best feeling in the world because then you just that's go cool. like... Yeah, you could get that hat. Skateboard the fit. Skaters no. hate when you don't skate and you wear skate shit. Yeah, they so it is so funny to be like, like I, I, I lost it, but I had that frog skateboarding beanie. Oh yeah, and a couple you times while that? I was home, yeah, I lost it while I was in Wilmington. A couple times while I was Damn. home, somebody be like, frog skateboarding, I'd be like, I don't skate at all, and just <laughs> smile. <laughs> just, Damn, I mean, they got no, so I just mad can't, I just can't be. Uh, my night, my nightmare them. They think is somebody. It's fubu. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, just can't. Is. I just can't have people trying to talk to me about something like that. I don't. I don't care. I don't want it. I don't want them to talk. It to is me. funny when like you guys. We run into like my friends who I skate with at a bar, and then you guys are trapped in the conversation with me and them. And they're that like, happened, "Oh, that dude did like that this happened one the, time, and me and Kim just left." Yeah, no, you yeah. guys stood there for like a couple minutes. Yeah, and then we left while you yeah. guys kept talking. It's true. About, oh yeah, because yeah. he was like, "Oh yeah, the fucking owner of this bar did like a nolly like." Uh, I swear to God, nolly I, wall I, right at the, yeah. at the I, school. I swear to God, I thought that was the RZA for like the first twenty minutes that you guys were talking. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Damn. I thought it was young Rizza. He looks cool. Damn. It is funny how every skateboarder that you hang out with just looks so homeless. Yeah. Just big ass clothes. Big ass clothes. I was thinking about um little jar that how they the Wu Tang clan like they form because they all love like martial arts movies it's or cool. whatever. And well, like but w- two of them love martial arts movies way more well, than the yeah, rest okay. of them. The rest of them don't but, give a fuck. Yeah, but yeah, like you, you know, old, their whole ODB? thing, but their whole thing is like, oh, they're all named after different characters yeah. from martial art movies, just shit. And think about like in like like ten years, like just what the next Wu Tang Clan will be like themed after. And I was thinking about like 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 a, a Wu Tang Clan that grew up like watching Finger Family videos, and they're like, <laughs> yo, that's Spider Man, that's Dora, <laughs> <laughs> that's Elsa. <laughs> Do you cool, remember dude. that? They, like sample all the like the like learning colors with, yeah. <laughs> with horses <laughs> videos and stuff. Elsa, give birth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was there, trying to figure out what the next like thing, what the next Wu Tang Clan will be. That um, was um, it was all the fucking like all the the hip hop blogs would be like Odd Future, the next Wu Tang, and they'd be like, "Fuck you, we're not the new Wu Tang." And then like haji like mellow hype like had a hook in the song that said we're the new wu-tang so it's like none <laughs> of them cool. could fucking figure out who was which but yeah. wu-tang did the right thing if they just like stuck together for so long odd future only lasted like five years yeah right? yeah it's true then yeah. haji beats knocked up nelly furtado did he uh-huh dude good for that fatty <laughs> haji no no that's Isn't not you're thinking of a one? different guy no Who's that's jasper he's in jackass now oh yeah good for, haji, hey good for that fatty yeah good for that fatty <laughs> yeah. but Haji Beats is the one. Nelly Furtado, the promiscuous girl? Uh-huh. She had sex? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. She had, yeah. Oh, my God. But uh, he, Haji Beats had that, he had the first line of a, a song. I think it's a Wu-Tang sample. Uh, the first line of his song, the, his verse was, eat a cock and cum mayonnaise ham sandwich. That's disgusting. That's a good good line. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. we've, I think Didn't I'm Big totally Sean date that girl from Glee who drowned to death? Leah Michelle. No, 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 not no, Leah Michelle. Michelle. What was her name? Uh, the other one. Uh, what's her name? Corey Monteith. Corey Monteith, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who Half the, guys. like, most of the cast of Glee is dead. There's three, three of them. Three of the yeah. main yeah. six or seven, yeah. The yeah. curse of Glee, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God's punishment. Yeah, God's I hope the punishment rest of them for being gay. For making a gay show. Yeah. yeah. He struck them down where they stood. Uh-huh. That yep. show is crazy. It is. Yeah. Uh, it is. Uh, it's nuts. I never saw it until, like, this year when, like, Anna was watching it. I was just like, Whoa! Like yeah. this is what people were watching. <laughs> yeah. Like what the fuck? People is this? loved it. People went it's crazy, crazy for it. Crazy. Yeah, I can't believe that people like watched that show and then like were like like grew like tried to like grew up and were like like calling people out on Twitter and stuff. Yeah, those for, like, are the people who dominate the world now. Yeah, the Glee, the Glee enjoyers. People who like yeah, like those are like the people who are like woke or whatever. Yeah, and it's like it's you watch cool. the show. And it's like what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> It's so. It's also such a like 2009 idea of what a like diverse cast is. Yeah. It's like it's okay. We'll have, we'll have two Asian gay, characters. Black who get, wheelchair. Yeah. Well, no. It's like yeah. It's like gay wheelchair. 
to black people who date each other to Asian people who date each other. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's for their, they weren't yeah. willing to go. Two people who will soon kill themselves who date each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't, uh, isn't there an episode where like, a student with Down syndrome accidentally becomes a school shooter. <laughs> Probably, yeah, yeah. There's that show is in, like insane. Really? I would not. That's like that just the sounds right. Thing yeah, I've ever heard. It's I, all shit like that. It's I'm, crazy. I think dude. I'm conflating something, or maybe it's a different show. But I think a well, student got- with Down syndrome accidentally becomes a shooter. Accidentally, they have. I think a, it's they like have a gun a, in their They have a student with Down syndrome who's essentially the the slave of the evil <laughs> teacher. Oh, the the Jane Lynch character. Yeah, yeah. Why did you say slave? Yeah, slave is a little. <laughs> I said essentially. Is, <laughs> oh, what? okay. Yeah, I guess that. Covers yeah, no, it. that's fine. Yeah. I think that passed in any any. Uh, it's the lit show. Class the show. The show. The show that, made him yeah. an essential slave. Her. Yeah, made her. her an essential slave. That's my bad. Sorry, a slave s. A slave. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that show is a. Uh, uh, it's nasty. That was like the first of its kind. Yeah, yeah. It was like my uh, mom really liked Glee. Oh, dude, my mom, my mom, that mom, that fucking show changed my mom's idea on uh, gay marriage. Oh yeah, Becky brought a gun to school. Is the episode? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was yeah. wrong with these people, dude? It's nuts. No, I mean, I I would probably have killed myself if I was on that show. It would have made me completely crazy. Yeah. She brought it. To, she brought her father's gun to school because she was afraid of being out of school after graduating. That's the that's how they wrote that episode. So she was gonna keep everyone in school <laughs> with, with a, a gun. gun? I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess the writers were like, "Well, it doesn't have to make sense." It's <laughs> like, who cares, right? Yeah, yeah. Who's it's the awesome. writer of that show? Uh, was, what's Quentin Tarantino? Yeah, it was. Quentin Tarantino's the, the guy who does American Horror episode. Story. Oh, really? What? Yeah. Really? That makes sense. That's, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's, why, that's an yeah. also a fucking crazy stupid show. Yeah, no, show. it's the. What's yeah. his, I that forget show his name. sucks shit. It's what's awful. his fucking name? I don't remember his name. But yeah, Ryan no, Murphy. Yeah, Ryan Murphy. Yeah, yeah that's he the did same. both of those? Mm-hmm. That's why they're both like that. Damn. That's why the same people like them. That show also is dog shit. That show is made me so mad. Dog shit. It's so bad. Sarah Paulson's married to the mom from Two and a Half Men. I don't know who either of those people are. Sarah Paulson's the lady from American Horror Story. In fact, Connie and, Britton uh, was American Horror Story. And uh, who else is in it? Uh, the People versus OJ. She plays the, thing, the lawyer. The thing that pisses me off most about American Horror Story is people try to pull the shit where they're like, well, yeah, it sucks now, but the first season was actually good. So you watch it, yeah. Just dog shit. yeah, you turn the first episode and it's like, this is the worst thing I've ever right? seen in my life. I think uh, it's like the, Adam it's like Levine a, was in a season. It's like a ghost story haunted house with like everything in it. Yeah, because it has to be twenty one episodes. Yeah, so every episode's like there's a there's a dead girl in the well. Yeah, oh, no, there's a there's a, a ghost shit. Is it Ryan Murphy? I thought the person who did it is American Murphy. Horror Story also did Nip Tuck. Might have done all. Three. I mean, there's probably multiple people who work mm. on TV shows. Who yeah. did The Office? That was Michael Schur. That's funny. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's Michael. Big Scott. ups to him. They have the uh, on on Peacock. I learned on my mom's birthday. They have the super fan versions they of the, the office. super fan versions. Your mom learned about my peacock on her birthday. Yep. All right, episode and over. That's- <laughs>